I've been asked several times as a pastor why we have baptism and confirmation at different times. Aren't they always supposed to be together? Well, sometimes they are in our tradition. And we have folks that, that are baptized and confirmed all at the same time. We don't believe that they always have to be. That there can be a place in time where we're baptized as an infant and we're raised in the faith until we come to that point in time when we confirm it. Because infant baptism does not take away the responsibility of an individual to claim and to make strong for themselves that faith. The promises that were made on their behalf by their parents and by a church that raised them in the faith until they got to the point where they said, it's not my mom's faith anymore. It's not my preacher's faith. It's not my Sunday school teacher's faith. It's, it's mine. I want to confirm, I want to make strong my commitment to live for Jesus Christ. So baptism and confirmation must always be together in one life, but not always together at the same point in time. It's important that we claim for ourselves the faith and the life that Jesus is giving to us. Want to learn more about United Methodist Beliefs? Visit umc.org beliefs. To find a pastor to talk to and a church to visit, try find a church at umc.org slash FAC.